Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I've been rereading to you guys a Disney's Winnie the Pooh Home Sweet Home book four. Alright guys, let's get into this. Looks like it has Rue in there. It's nice to visit places and play with friends you know, but I can't wait to hurry home because someone loves me so. One very sunny Sunday, Rue went to Rabbit's house. They worked in the garden all day long and had a wonderful time picking carrots, lettuce, and tomatoes. But when it was time to leave, Rue didn't want to go home. Why, Rue? said Rabbit. Conga is waiting for you. You don't want to be late for supper, do you? Rue didn't care. There's nothing to do at my house, he complained. I don't have a big garden like yours. Rabbit listened as he put some vegetables in a basket for Rue to take with him. It's getting late, and I'm afraid that Conga will worry. Let's go, Rue, Rabbit insisted. So Rue took Rabbit's hand, and they left for home. When they got to Rue's house, Conga was waiting for them. Oh, Rue, she said, hugging him. I missed you. I'm so glad you're home. Rue didn't answer. He just sighed a very big sigh. Boy, be happy you got a home to go to. Stop it. The next day was Monday. Conga thought it would be nice to take Rue over to Al's house. Rue spent the whole day listening to Al tell the most amazing stories. Soon it was time to leave, but Rue didn't want to go home. Tut, 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 young fellow, Al insisted. It's important to listen to your mama. A reluctant Rue hopped into Conga's pouch and left. On Tuesday, Rue went to Pooh's house where he played a little game of musical chairs with Pooh, Piglet, and Tigger. After supper, Conga appeared at Pooh's door. Come, Rue, she called. Time to go home. You probably didn't want to go then either. Five more minutes, Mama, Rue called, going back to play. Conga spoke up again. I'm having fun, Rue sighed. I don't want to go home. When Conga gently insisted, Rue said goodbye to his friends. What's wrong? Conga asked Rue on their way home. I like playing at my friends' homes more than I do at my home, he explained. Well, said Conga, let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> on Wednesday, Conga invited Rue's friends over for the day. She wanted Rue to see that he could have a good time playing in his house too. First Rue asked if they could if they could bake cookies. What a good idea, Rue, Conga said, getting out the ingredients. Soon the cookies were ready. These are the best cookies I've ever tasted, Piggly said. See, it's not it's not the place, but it's the friends you have. Next, they had a wonderful time playing with Rue's toys. They took piles of blocks and stacked them up to the ceiling. Pooh's stack kept falling over. Oh, bother, he sighed. I'm not very good with blocks. Hoo, 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 laughed Tigger, making shorter stacks. Let's see who can bounce over these blocks. Of course, it was Tigger, because everyone knows bouncing is what Tiggers do best. Next, they painted lovely pictures. Mine's a rainbow, Piglet said, admiring his work. Mine's a honey pot overflowing with a scrum dilly Honey. Pooh announced, licking his lips. When they were finished, Conga took Rue's paint box and lined up all his friends. Then she painted a star on Rue's check cheek, a butterfly on Pooh, a flower on Tigger, a heart on Piglet, and a balloon on Eeyore. Oh, that's nice. Gee, little buddy, said Tigger, looking in Rue's mirror, I've never looked better. 
Thanks, Mama, Rue cried. You're the best. Conga smiled happily. Her plan was working. After that, Rue and his friends went outside to play a quick game of hide and seek. Hoo-hoo-hoo, Tigger cried. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> When they were thirsty, Piglet and Rue made fresh lemonade. What should we do now? asked Rue. Congo, would you read us a story? Pooh suggested. Of course, Congo said. When it was time to go, Pooh and his friends didn't want to leave. They were having too much fun. <laughs> do we really have to go? Eeyore asked. <laughs> Look at Eeyore. And he be the saddest one. Congo had an idea. Would you like to stay and camp out under the stars? She asked. Can we really, Mama? Rue asked, overjoyed. Of course you may, Conga replied. What a wonderful day it had been. And from that day on, Rue knew that he had the very best home of all. Rue is not about the home, but the friends that you're taking it with that made it fun. <laughs> a lesson a day pulls way. There's no place like home. With Conga. <laughs> Aw, that was nice. All right, guys, that was Winnie the Pooh, Home Sweet Home. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys, bye.